Hey guys, Rogan Industry, let's bring you a very special episode of Let's Play Brick for many, many reasons. For the first reason, you'll be noticing my logo is a little different. Well, this is the special Children of Bodom version of the Rogue Industrialist logo. And you may be asking, why did I dedicate my new logo version to a band? The reason being, they will be on Guitar Hero 5, and that means that they will get a horrible, horrible fan base change. Because of all the people who only listen to songs from Guitar Hero and things like that. So, uh, I just wanted to show that, just in case I ever mentioned Children of Bodom, I was a fan of them before Guitar Hero 5. Yeah. Normally I'll have the other logo, but I'm just gonna show this off this one time. This is the, actually the guy from their second album, Hate Breeder, because it's all in green and it has the Grim Reaper and he's pointing to, like, Lake Bodom in the background. But now he's pointing to Rogue Industrialist. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I chose the Hate Breeder guy because that was my favorite album by them. It was the uh, first one I heard by them, actually. I heard it two years ago when a uh, friend recommended I listen to Follow the Reaper by them, and I disobeyed and listened to uh, Warheart, I believe. So yeah, and uh, here's another thing, and this is going to blow your mind. I discovered what Brick is. Okay, so this is just a skyscraper of puzzle games, right? On the top floor, we have Tetris. The blocks drop from here, and they fill up this little area. Now, when Tetris is over, then the bottom floor, brick, starts. The bricks that are left from Tetris are broken by the ball. Oh, and the blue line is some sort of force field that can bounce the ball back, but cannot let the bricks fall through, and it lets it destroy the bricks. Yeah. Does that not blow you guys' mind? It has to be true. Amazing, eh? And so, uh, another reason that this is special... 10 subscriber get! Yeah, that's right, I have more than 10 subscribers now, and... I don't know who's doing this is... Maybe it's one of my fans who recommended me to people... Or maybe people actually subscribed to me for legitimate reasons... But either way, that means at the end of Let's Play Bic, you will be treated to a very, very special presentation that will be much fun. So, uh, without further ado... Yellow alert. Now let's brick. I'm Rogue Industrialist and I speak for the trees. So yeah, last or second last level of brick, viewers. Feels like just yesterday I was starting this LP. Feels like just yesterday I was messing up on the second level. So I'll probably have to split this up into four episodes, which is weak, because the fourth episode's probably not going to be that long, because I assume it'll be just over half an hour that I spend breaking this level, because it was just about half an hour for the last one, and this is a little bit more than the last one. Hope I actually have time to do all this. I mean, this is actually going to take quite a long time. So I'm really happy about all my subscribers, all 12 of you. That's right, I have, I actually have 12, but the goal was over 10. Over 9,000? Damn it! I was trying so hard not to say that during my LP. I, I say that too much in real life, and I really did not want to resort to that during my commentary. I had so many chances to have said it, like, oh, how many bricks are there in this level? I'm not sure. And all of those other things, and I didn't say it then, and I said it now, and I'm angry about it. Oh, am I ever miffed. I really didn't want to mention internet memes during this. to go straight to jail for saying that. Do not collect $200. Not even pass go. I am still worried about the explody bricks even though I'm fairly well rested. Because they're, they're just confusing. I have bad eyesight and 
my uh, microphone headphones were always kind of in the way of the screen, no matter how hard I try to have them not to be. Oh, oh! I'm gonna hit an explodey brick. Oh, this is gonna be hell. This is gonna be hell. Oh, cr oh, oh, man. Oh man, what was that? I just dug that entire tray of bricks out. Oh yeah. A lot of close calls already. That worries me. Oh. So, uh, I found some interesting things in the news today, and above all, the funniest thing I have ever seen in the news. Um, get this, headline. Texting teen falls into open manhole. Check if it's still there, guys. Go to Yahoo News Canada, or whatever the site's called. Just search Yahoo Canada, you'll find it. See if it's still there. It's hilarious. Apparently, a guy was just walking around, texting on his phone, and he fell into a hilariously open manhole. And it took like a bunch of people to get him out. And the description is clearly mocking him. It's like, teen takes impromptu bath in raw sewage. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so far, we have not hit two explodey bricks at once, which I'm glad about. Oh. Yeah, there it is. I challenge anyone to rule 34 brick. And if you guys don't know what it means, you don't want to know what it means. I just challenge anyone who knows what that means. Asleep. Damn it. I always do this. I put my right foot up on my desk and it goes asleep. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah. Epic save. Oh man. Not bricking all that well today. So I do believe the last level of brick has quite a few explody bricks. Like, more than you want there to be, for sure. Damn it. Hit the explody bricks. One by one. Please. Oh. That was pretty cool. Oh, I'm gonna hit a lot of bricks here now. 